Hi, I'm Dan Cordopassi. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale F59 PHI locomotive from Athern. This locomotive is decorated in the Amtrak California scheme, used on Capitol Corridor and San Joaquin trains in Northern California. I found some prototype photos of the real Amtrak California 2014, and the model looks to be a pretty close match. Athern also offers this engine in other paint schemes. This example is decorated in Amtrak California's Surfliner scheme. This one appears accurate except for the R in a circle after the Amtrak name, which does not appear in any of the prototype photos that I found of these units. This model is DCC ready and has an MSRP of $124.98. Athern also offers a version with DCC and sound for $184.98. The silver paint on the model is thin and opaque. The blue and black are thicker, and the yellow is especially thick to the point where it noticeably softens the details on the shell. Separation lines between the colors are fuzzy in places, again most noticeably around the yellow stripe. The grills are darkened with paint, which is a nice touch. The markings are generally crisp. In back, the model has the repower graphic applied to Amtrak California F-59 PHIs rebuilt with an EMD 710 Echo Prime Mover. There are a few small voids in the markings around the ribs on the sides, and the road number on the engineer's side has a scratch through it. The model has freestanding grab irons. Most of the other side detail is molded on. There are no brake lines on the trucks. The side window glazing in the cab area is not flush with the outside. In front, the model has an accurate plow. The headlights and ditch lights are illuminated with bulbs. The red lights and number boards are not lit. To my eye, the Caltrans graphic seems a little dull. I've seen these locomotives many times and the blue and green should be more vibrant. In back, the model has freestanding plastic handrails that are straight and not warped, which is great. The grab irons are separately applied. The pilot has minimal detail with no uncoupling levers or hoses. There's a spare knuckle holder which is present on the real 2014. The model has McHenry plastic couplers on both ends, both couplers at their correct height according to the KD height gauge. On top the model has see-through fans with blade detail. Underneath all the axles are powered and all the wheels pick up current. All the wheels are engaged according to the NMRA standards gauge. The model weighs 21.8 ounces. I registered 3.5 ounces of drawbar pull on my force gauge. Most of the HO scale diesels that we test pull about 2.5 ounces, so this engine has more than enough power to handle a typical 4 or 5 car Capital or San Joaquin consist. I'm running the model on DC. It's pretty smooth and fairly quiet. To take the model apart, first you need to remove the coupler boxes. Then spread the shell slightly to remove the chassis. Inside the model is already equipped with a speaker enclosure in case you want to add sound. To add DCC, you can either replace the entire light board, use a 9-pin JST plug, or an 8-pin plug. They have this little warning label on here that says you have to remove the JST dummy plug before you use an 8-pin plug on it. This is a nice model of a modern passenger diesel. It's accurate and runs well. Though the model lacks some detail, for the price it's a good value. My preference would be for LED lights instead of bulbs, though the lights in this model are a huge improvement over the single bulb in the cab that these F-59s had when Athern first released them. I do think that the paint could be a bit better, so I'm going to take a spike for that. My final verdict is 9 out of 10 spikes.